What is going on guys, it is Lely 2 sxe and this is a video where I talk about the game mode My Club, what holds it back, what it does right and what it could do differently to make it a better game mode in the future series. So first of all I'll talk about what holds this game mode back and I've been speaking to a lot of people in the PES community and the first thing they say is we cannot play our strongest team all the time. So for people that don't know, every 10 matches you have to pay your players contracts so that's every 10 matches that you've used that player, not every 10 matches that you've played. So once you've played a player for 10 matches, you have to renew his contract. So someone like Benteke costs 1,950. Marco Royce and Mario Gutsa cost 2,550. And Sergio Ramos, I think, is just over 3,000. I'll have a quick look for you. And that's 3,150. So them four players alone cost 10,000 GP. So GP is what you earn when you win a match. And... Basically, every time I win a match right now, I earn around 2,400, 2,500 GP. So I have to win five matches, just say five matches to, wait, sorry, four, yeah, in between four or five matches to just pay off these four players' contracts. So the actual total of this squad right now, and it's not the best squad in the world, you can see I've got Barzagli at centre-back, John Arnorisa at left-back. Basically, everyone apart from them four players that I've just named at the start, Every one of them are easily replaceable, but for me to actually play this team for 10 matches in a row, it actually cost me between 20,000 and 21,000 GP. That's just my starting 11. And, you know, these like, well, seven of the 11 could easily be replaced. And the max I get if I win 10 matches is 25,000 GP. Now, I'm going to spend 80% of what I've just won back on the wages so it makes buying players almost impossible now what you do get is free player agents after every match so when I say free player agents I'm just going to quickly show you here so you get these little I say crappy agents they've been pure shit for me so far anyway but you get a three star agent here you can and they obviously go down to one star I've not got one good player none of my players have come from any you know any of my starting squad players there none of them have come from here so what I normally end up doing is I get a bunch of crap players and this is what a lot of Pez people have to do to maintain their first team is they have to and I'm going to show you right now field out a second squad which I've done here pretty much done and then I end up playing people online or pretty much the computer just so I earn an extra 10,000 GP and make use of these shit players that I have because if you don't do that then you're going to be really struggling to get a GP to buy top players because when you buy a when you spend your actual GP it costs 10,000 this is a promotional one African nations so that is a promotional offer going on but what I do like is the fact that you can target what sort of player you can buy so I can go for a top player agent which will get me a striker one that gets me a midfielder one that gets me a defender and so on but that could be anyone from a 75 rated player up to one of the best players in the game and a lot of the time in this game it generally is a 75 rated player for me that 10,000 is an absolute waste if it isn't a black ball anymore and it's a big risk for me going for one of these and the fact is if I get a player that's 75 rated if I release him I'll get 500 GP that is fucking peanuts that's nothing and I'm going to talk about the transfer market later because that this game doesn't actually have a transfer market right now and everything we do right now we have to spend top dollar to get a decent player and if we release anyone even if I released Marco Royce I would get 1,500 for him that is fucking peanuts that's not enough to even give Mavuba who's my defensive midfielder a 10 match contract I mean that is ridiculous now what I also don't like is the fact that these managers that I have so this manager I've got has got the formation of 4-2-3-1 first of all um, let me just change my squad back and you'll see why I don't like it well actually no what I will talk about before I do talk about the formations is actually what I do like is the fact that can you see bottom right there where all these tactical links so you can see attacking styles build up what I do like is that each manager has their own style so your players have to fit in that manager style to get the best of him now you'll see everyone in my starting 11 has that now because although they didn't have it at the start the more you play them they you know they will eventually learn that and then your team spirit or as FIFA players would call it chemistry does get higher just by constantly playing them together now Joel Campbell I've just got him and he's slowly gonna you know get the other 
two missing links at the bottom which is penning area and pressuring so that is something I do like but the one thing I don't like about having a manager that well this such a rigid idea of it anyway is the fact that I've got two defensive midfielders and I've got one attacking mid one left mid right mid I cannot do anything to change them it won't even let me change their play roles the max it does is let me move them ever so slightly but for me that's nothing I actually want to be able to change the players role the one thing I would think about when you think in my club you think my club is a game mode where you think just the name my club you think it should be all in my control but it's not it's far from it everything about this game mode is given to you there's not much you can do them all right you can buy a manager but again let me just show you how almost pathetic it is because the formations are so limited by the way you cannot tinker a formation in terms of players roles all you can do is slightly move them a few yards of where they're you know put so example look at this manager here 4132 now if I want to get more information on it how pathetic is that all I can see is the fact that the midfielders it doesn't even tell me if the midfielder is a defensive midfielder or a centre midfielder or if the one uh, uh, on top is a attacking midfielder or a centre midfielder that is really lame and you, I can't tell if them two strikers up there up tops are both centre forwards or if one's a supporting striker or SS whatever you know it as second striker supporting striker whatever it is it doesn't let you know and I find that really poor and it's just because there's such rigid formations you need to know the max you can about a manager before you buy him now if you can see where it says management skills it says 720 well the one thing I do like about that is the fact that look if I go down the list as the managers get worse and worse the management skill becomes less so what that means is and the one thing I do like about this is the fact that better managers can handle better squads so if your squad goes so when it, oh yeah by the way that total cost means basically a, each player has their own cost Lewandowski is on loan for me that's why I didn't see him on the starting line up there but each player has their cost so Sergio Ramos cost 63 and now as you can see the rest so if a ma if all these players add up to more than 720 the team spirit dramatically drops it just goes from I'll actually show you right now but it basically says the manager can't hold Oh, sorry can't handle this many players that well and we do see that sort of problem in real life anyway which is something I like anyway so if if I do add in Lewandowski you'll suddenly see that the team cost is 771 team spirit just dropped to 10 so that is something I do like about this oh I'm not going to release him I nearly made a big mistake on registering and won't do that though so that is something I do like about this game mode now another thing I do like about this game mode is the fact that if you're a team well if you're a new player with a new team and you're building your squad what you can do is if you can't afford to you know have a top player agent what you can do is you can sign a loan player and Edison Cavani for 10 matches 5,900 that could be a big uh, you know signing for you for them 10 matches and he could win you a tournament get you big money and you know you don't have to sign top top players if you're really at the bottom then you can come down it's probably not worth going down here once they you know below 75 but you know for players at the start this could be a great tool even people that have a really good um, team could be missing that one player and just can't afford to buy that player and basically in the way Pez works right now it's all about look really so when you go for a player it's all about look and if we had a transfer market maybe the loan system might not be as useful but it still could be useful even if there is a transfer market because if I wanted to just loan Edison Cavani and see how he works out for me before I actually go and buy him then that's a great tool to have there so again now what I was going to say is because we get very little for actually you know winning a season you know basically getting promotion we get something like 300 GP for getting promoted again that's peanuts that's nothing the worst thing about this is the fact that we get very little for doing anything in this game mode so if I release Mario Gotsa look I'll show you how much I, oh, no, I'm going to show you how much I get for releasing 1,275 that's nothing I'd love to have the option to sell him on to someone that would actually look for him and find him useful and get about you know 20,000 GP 30,000 if the transfer market is dictated by other PES users so if someone like Sergio Aguero costs something like 50,000 GP and he doesn't fit my system at least I can feel good that you know I can get rid of him and get my money's worth on him right now that is gone it feels like PES or Konami 
of forcing you to spend your money to get the team you want and that is not something I like. The one thing I used to hate Ultimate Team for in FIFA was the fact that it felt like you had to spend money to be successful and that's exactly what this game mode feels like right now. I think to make this a better game mode all they need to do is find a better balance of game points and contracts. So for example instead of making Sergio Ramos' contract 3000 GP make it 2000 GP and instead of winning 2500 GP for a match I should be getting something like 3000 3500 if they did that swing there it'd be a lot more entertaining it wouldn't feel like such a grind right now you know it feels like such a grind playing this game mode if they find the perfect balance I'm not saying that that combination of what I just said is the perfect balance but you can see what I'm getting at and if they added a transfer market at least it feels like we're in more control I think it's just as simple as that just give us more control get the better balance between GP and contracts give us more opportunities so more tournaments that's something that's happening right now there's more tournaments to be added on a weekly basis so they are getting there already but I think a transfer market is huge the only one positive that I can say about not having a transfer market is the fact that we always come up against a different team but again that isn't enough to make me say that it's not worth having a transfer market the transfer market is huge for me I think anyway so you guys let me know what you guys think would you know make this a better game mode in the comment section I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did remember to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more remember to subscribe and thanks for watching guys